Hi, Bugge. Hi, thanks a lot. Thank you. <laughs> uh, from your point of view, which could be the new conceptions of jazz itself nowadays? Which can be its current perspective? Yeah, it's a, it's a big question, but uh, I have to answer it just how I personally think it. Yes. And there's, of course, different directions, but I, I think this mix of contemporary music and improvised music is very interesting. Uh, because it gives classical musicians a chance to improvise and I think they will move into jazz. I think improvisation is becoming more and more important in contemporary music. Also because they have a fantastic knowledge about their instruments and the possibilities. I think this one this will be the future of jazz. The other one for me is of course uh, the electronic aspect with using laptop because now of course laptop is becoming a cool instrument with uh, incredible possibilities. Uh, so I really think, uh, for me, it's about those two things. Most of you know the jazz chords, uh, it's it's done so fantastic already. It cannot kind of be done again. I think you have to move on to something else. Uh, you join your long and multifaceted career to other two big personal teachers, Magnus Ostrom and Dan Bergwood. Which are the main characteristics of Bring Them Project? The name, the name itself is meaningful. Thank you. Uh, well, it's uh, when I was the in initiative taker, so I asked uh, Don and Mamu to join me in the trio, which was incredible for me because, of course, with the beautiful work of EST, they played so well together, and, and it was an honor for me to, to, to play with them. I wanted uh, a kind of a Scandinavian touch to the music, and I wanted a little bit of a rock edge to the music. I think all the three of us are interested uh, in, uh, in some of the rock music, like rock, some kind of metal music, and uh, I know that uh, especially Don has a long half in rock music. He, so, uh, so I think that's the primary things that we wanted to, to reach with our trio. New sound, new places, these are the things that inspire you one day. Uh, which are the most recent ones of those places, those sounds? Oh, well, uh, for the last few years I've been really uh, inspired and interested in, uh, in kind of world music, like in, in, in folk music from around the world. I had a few trips to Pakistan, which is amazing, incredible music scene there. Of course, the Sufi tradition, uh, which is living on very, very with it. Um, but they also, I think, in, in uh, North Africa and, and Middle East, there's very interesting things happening. It's a very young, emerging scene. If you look at Cairo, for example, it's incredible. It's a, it's a music revolution. Beautiful, incredible, well, where they mix. Western influences with their own roots, and uh, there's a guy called Islam Gypsy. I think he's the, my favorite keyboard player in the world. Which is the state of the art of your long-term relationship with electronics now, and electronica also? Well, I, I still like it a lot. I think it's, uh, for me, it's the newest and most progressive music. It's the, the, the latest new music, and I think it's, we're still in the beginning of technology and everything that technology can do with music. I think that's wonderful. Uh, there's several people I'm very honored to work with. Henrik Schwartz from Germany, uh, Francois Kowarkin from uh, America, uh, Joe Cousel also from America, uh, some Norwegian guys, Prince Thomas, Strange Fruit. Uh, it's very learnful for me. I, I love these guys. They are very musical and they're extremely interested in music. They have a knowledge of music even wider than me. I mean, they have. 30, 40,000 vinyl albums which they listen to regularly. Very friendly people. Thank you very much, Buge. Thanks a lot. Thank you.